Welcome viewers to the very first episode of uh, Iodize podcast. I'm Randeer, your host, a machine learning, AI, drone tech uh, enthusiast and, and blockchain as well. I have been fortunate to be part of major uh, tech companies like uh, Dell, IBM, uh, you know, Teleperformance was another company, though not tech, and HCL Technologies as well. Uh, so I, I, we would be sharing some, you know, uh, technological no, uh, things uh, among us. For this, I have a very special uh, guest with me, uh, Mr. Sumit Sharma. Uh, Sumit, I welcome you to this uh, podcast. Uh, I mean, uh, it, it would be great uh, to talk more about uh, this thing. Uh, viewers, uh, Sumit is bringing a shape to this industry. I'm talking about like uh, drone technology and uh, he is like perfecting the concepts, uh, bringing innovation uh, and a lot many things to, to, to this particular industry in India. I, I am very much thankful to uh, Mr. Randeer for having me here and it's always pleasure like talking about the emerging technologies and uh, how, how can we give shape to it and make an impact on the society and I think I think what you're doing is a wonderful job in that. A great, a great uh, pleasure, pleasure to have you here uh, Sumit. Uh, so Sumit is an engineer and uh, he is a drone enthusiast as I mentioned and been in this uh, uh, area, this domain for pretty long. He is like inclined uh, towards this technology uh, since very early age, uh, he has been into DIY drone for ages uh, as, as a kid and, and then his passion transformed into profession and uh, he, he, he started to pursuing his career in, in this technology. Like very basic uh, rudimentary uh, questions uh, uh, like, you know, uh, what is the current application? of uh, drone tech in, in short. Yeah. Something which is flying is always fascinating. I remember we as a kid used to fly kites. I remember many kids being fascinated in flying kites. So similarly, this technology is actually attracting many people mm -hmm. and innovations are coming how this yeah. can be used into various uh, uh, areas apart yeah. from your hobby. Currently, as you know, the same application is being used in marriages for photography. Yeah, drones. The same application is being used into the mapping of uh, huge hectares of land. They call as application, particularly application softwares were used from different application to applications. Mm -hmm. The same technology is being used right now into surveillance and crowd managing. And I tell you, during this time of COVID, the Indian drone industry was the only industry that has seen an actual rise because mm -hmm. they're being yes. used in the locust operations. They're yeah. being used into the aerial sanitization, yes. a contactless yes. huge uh, sanitization of buildings, walls, and got uh, special uh, permissions from the government and uh, uh, the push you can see in this, this area by the government also. So I believe that yes, currently it is actually impacting the economy as well as life of people and uh, will have drastic implications in future as well. So, uh, coming to, you know, uh, l l let's, let's talk about some niche technology. I remember around 10 years back, 10 years back, yeah. yeah. In 2012, I watched this movie, uh, Born Legacy, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, where this agent, uh, Born Jason, was hunted by the Reaper drone. It was a fascinating, like, uh, you know, clip or particular scene was. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was in a cinema hall and then I was completely dazzled looking at the scene. I saw this Reaper drone buzzing through the mountains and valleys and it was a visual treat. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it, it, it shot the drone and the cabin where the bond was staying, it, it, it was uh, blown. So I, I just came to my mind instantly because I remembered this. And since I, I was also inclined towards uh, drone, I, I kept on hearing about that how 
US would hunt their uh, enemies and, and would target uh, them using their uh, drones. Uh, I, I heard, I, I recently heard a new, uh, not recently, uh, I mean, uh, approximately uh, 15 years back that uh, there was a, uh, there was a particular enemy which they were hunting and they they somehow they detected their cell phone signal mm -hmm. and then drone straight away shot the missile and straight away it hit where he had this uh, cell phone afterwards i i watched that movie you know uh, blown away yeah i it's can i can like uh, certainly understand your <laughs> sentiments as a kid and that's why i when i started i said that uh, kids used to fly kites earlier but now they are flying the drones yeah. right so how uh, the technology actually impacts you when we see such a uh, marvel series uh, the yes. making of uh, uh, iron, iron man, man and man. unmanned uh, uh, unmanned uh, iron drones uh, into that Iron Man 2 movies so we can just correlate at that time that would there be a future where mm. uh, mm. Uh, this thing can be a reality would machines mm. be so intelligent yeah. right that you can control them right from uh, hundreds of kilometers and you can see that uh, things are actually become reality right now yes yes right. uh, so Sumit coming to the question that how do you see this tech in current scenario and uh, what could be the future implication of this technology in, in warfares? And we can uh, uh, easily imagine this thing that when this technology is impacting the civilian life so much, mm -hmm. then what could be its implications into the defense and attack side? Yeah. I, I would give you uh, certain information that uh, drones is being used uh, for special surveillance purpose right from past many uh, decades. The early 90s, the defense have started using drones, but not for an attack purposes. Three decades, almost 30 years. Uh, back, yes, yeah? yes, yes, certainly you can say. Mm -hmm. And uh, the things are actually uh, evolving over the time. Mm -hmm. But yes, the recent evolve is so drastic, so huge, mm -hmm. that just people, or I'll say that countries have started uh, working towards a drone-based warfare. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. The question is why to spend your million dollars of an aircraft on an aircraft yeah. and also with a pilot within yeah, the human human cost. Human yeah. cost. Yeah. Right. When within the same cost you can manufacture thousands of drones. Thousands of swarm of drones, like you know. I mean you being a person, you can be a good huge power but what if the swarm of uh, honeybees attacks you <laughs> it only makes you to run yes 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 true right true and the yeah, similar yeah, conditions is with the very, drones very very good uh, like I, I would say that you know idea yeah. yeah you can see countries the, the predator series the mq9 series mm -hmm. right the bayaktar tb9 reaper drone, reapers which I the loyal wings. these are some some of the key drones which have already uh, shown their performances uh -huh. and right now uh, the major focus of major countries is to make man and machine combination machine. where there would be mm. just one machine with the man and rest all yeah. the drones where the machine man would command the drones mm. to go. These drones are sophisticatedly uh, equipped with high power artificial and cloud engines. Mm, mm. the high power sensors yes right taking data and it's it's all like an ai engine the iot engine which is running behind yeah of yeah. doing you know, lacks of computations all around in a second and just giving you a result yes 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 uh, i mean uh, the 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 you know the pitching of this ai machine mm. learning and iot into this drone thing is is uh, like sometime uh, I saw this uh, the simple this DJI drone mm -hmm. uh, I mean it, it behaves like a creature and you know as if like there is some you know strange creature from uh, uh, from Terminator movie <laughs> so it, it recalls me that you know that there is a fight between uh -huh. humans and uh, machines so all uh, uh, this uh, AI powered uh, drone 
or arsenals definitely hunting you humans see, shooting them that technology is going now as a inspired from humans or inspired from creatures these drones are designed yes the yes. outer structure is designed yes following the physics of humans eagles vultures right because they are the natural flying creatures mm -hmm. we are imitating that in our systems yeah right like the fly like, like uh, we are just getting their physical features which i think the almighty mighty has designed yeah. and getting those particular yes. features into our machines into our machines the design right we have high processor chips high processing power which can work as a brain we have hyperspectral multispectral depth sensing cameras which gives you even the orientation of your target right mm. and uh, which works as a eye of the system yes. the processor works as a brain of the system mm -hmm. the wing work as an arms and legs of the system yes and right. getting a cohesiveness among all those system and make them time bound to respond to a particular action, action yes. is is just a matter of uh, good iot's good networks good sensors and specifically the brilliant brains behind them i mean completely like autonomous like yes, we indeed. Uh, so uh, i mean this is basically the you're talking about the role of uh, uh, iot and ai and machine learning in in this uh, in this field yes uh, okay so uh, i see this uh, this emergence of new career can can we call that uh, you know drone pilots are there fighter drone pilots as a as a career we were uh, probably yes uh, because i i remember right now what how fighter pilots are being made into the various uh, air forces of the world they have to go through a rigorous process training and all today also the poor people who are actually flying the drone these kind of drones are pilots we call it as uh, remote pilots remote pilots and we can even call it or coined it as uh, remote fighter pilots remote fighter pilots remote yeah. fighter pilots remote fighter pilots yeah, yeah. so yeah. definitely we we see yeah. that the ecosystem is emerging right the remote pilots into the civil aerospace and sooner or later as as these things will boom i believe that when uh, the impact of or i'll say the population of drones fighter drones will increase mm -hmm. as a arsenal into many uh, defense uh, armies air force or navy i believe that yes there there would be a career opportunity yeah. termed as uh, remote fighter pilots and yes. uh, fighter pilots yes right so i believe future is very bright in this Yes, great. Uh, thank you so much for this knowledge sharing more about it. And uh, uh, this podcast is basically for young minds, for everybody, for the technology enthusiast. And uh, we want to share this knowledge and fire some spark in the younger generation to do, uh, you know, innovative things in this area. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you so much. Sumit Sharma, <laughs> thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.